How are you liking it? Gotta come to camp. <laughs> it's so fun. It's probably the most fun place on earth. Something's always going on in every minute of every day. There's never a dull moment, which is so funny and so exciting. Once you come, you'll never want to leave. And then the adventure comes in because they're coming and trying things that they've never done before. Where are you going to get to kayak every day or rock climb or shoot a bow and arrow? We're going to paddle the upper green. Got some boaters over here. What's the upper green like? It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of drops. We're really excited. And uh, what all kind of stuff do we have planned to do this evening? Um, we're going to fly kites. We're going to watch the sunset. Uh, we're going to make s'mores, eat dinner. Um, hike around, explore a little. I have a camera, I'm going to take lots of pictures. I'm pretty excited about it. What's your favorite class that you take? I really like Pause is a new one, and it's a bees. <laughs> I really like them. They're really cute, aren't they? They're so fun. She came home, talked about her activities that she did. She talked about things that she thought would make me proud. Like she mailed me her rifle retargets. I cried. <laughs> <laughs> There's soccer, lacrosse, volleyball, backpacking, DIY crafts, kayaking, diving, swimming, canoeing, tennis, climbing, riflery, drama, guitar, fitness and dance, and gymnastics. Emergency water safety, pottery, fencing, basketball, paws, which is puppy training. There's riding, knitting, cooking, archery, there's so much at camp to do. My favorite activities are soccer. I really like Gold Rush. My favorite meals are taco in a bag and s'more pockets, by far. Yeah, I gotta agree. Taco in a bag, it's gotta be the best. Every girl is going to find something that they're good at or something that they really like. And it's really rewarding to get to see yourself excel in something. And that gives you a ton of confidence that you couldn't get somewhere else. Girls need confidence. And one of the ways girls get confidence is through adventure. And it's a combination of these three things, friendship, fun, and adventure, that make camp the perfect place for growth. The best thing that I can say about Mary Mac is we thought she was pretty terrific when she got here. But she left Mary Mac an even better person than when she got to Mary Mac. Let's make a lot of noise. There's one tribe here that deserves a medal. Just look at our boys. So here's the saddles. Here's to you. Singing yeah. is probably my favorite thing about camp. It really just brings joy to our days, and there's all these amazing songs, and it's created a huge history at camp. We're always singing because it's a lot of fun. It's a high-energy activity. You don't have to be a good singer to sing at camp. It's just a major part that just binds us all together at camp. When I first got here, I thought the singing was so weird, but now, at the end of every meal, I look forward to the singing um, because you're all coming together, you're doing the same thing, but you're, you're creating something together. Everyone gets so excited about it, and too, it's just electric like, throughout the entire camp. You can hear it from everywhere. It does kind of forge a bond between all of them. We sing at breakfast, we sing at lunch, we sing at the chapel, we sing at dinner, we sing in the cabins, we just sing everywhere. And there's nothing quite like walking past the dining hall um, and, and hearing the songs and being like, oh, what? I wonder what song it is they're singing. And then you recognize it, and then you can you know, start singing along. So, I love it. 
I was in the dining hall, this is a couple years ago, with a friend of mine who was a camp director for 15 years. He finally retired. And uh, the girls started singing, and he actually shook. He was, you could tell he was almost afraid. Like, he said, Adam, what is this? These girls, what are they doing? I said, what do you mean? They're standing up, they're, they're singing, they're on their benches, they're cheering, they're stomping, there's order, but I can't figure it out. Is this color wars? What's happening? A special day? What's going on? Said, George, this is lunch. I look forward to coming to camp in North Carolina because back home it's very hot and you don't have the beautiful mountains and scenery that you do here. We're very fortunate in that these mountains are ideal for the type of adventures we do. They're, they're rugged enough to be challenging, they're calm enough to be inviting, and that works really well for the types of rivers we want, the types of rocks we want, they're all over. I know my first climbing trip I went on, I was terrified to even get on the rock and at the end I wanted to keep going higher and higher and higher. She was able to make choices on her own and decide what activities she wants to be in and what her passions are, uh, uh, separate from us. Riding is, it's something scary at first, but after the first year I noticed that I found a big change in myself because of riding because it taught me a lot of self-confidence. You can, you can always do it if you try. Teaching kayaking is really wonderful because it teaches confidence more than it teaches anything else. How do you feel about this, Mary Helen? I'm nervous. <laughs> I was terrified of kayaking, and then last year I took it for the first time. Now I've gone on two trips, and I've learned my role, and it's just such an amazing experience to overcome my fears. And I think that's um, one of the things camp does best, is teach girls skills so they earn a sense of confidence, and they do this through kayaking, through playing the guitar. Girls need confidence. They get confidence through adventures, and they get confidence through a sense of belonging. The Merrimack community is one of the most unique communities I've ever been a part of. This is a place where any girl can enter it and be accepted for exactly who she is and be praised for the things that she is great at. It really helps girls discover their true selves and who God created them to be. It's pushed her farther and higher and in ways that she never, never imagined possible. And never, we didn't, we knew were possible, but just we're glad to see them happen so so soon. I like that she can be away from home in a place that is somewhat free and she can socialize with people her age and it's a safe place. Safety is our number one priority at Mary Mac. We teach the girls how to do each activity well and by teaching skills really effectively, um, we're teaching safety. The crux of a safe camp is a great staff. In fact, that's the crux of any portion of the camp. My girls come home wanting to be like these counselors. These counselors mail my girls letters. Oh, the counselors are incredible. They're so kind, they're fun. The counselors are like your older sister in a way. And there's so many in one place. So our daughter started at camp when she was seven in Tweedledoe. If you were to ask her about the most formative influences in her life, before she got to the second sentence, she'd start naming names of the counselors that are here. Speaking as someone who was a camper, the impact that you are having on their lives is irreplaceable. But you know, he's just kind of the best. She's really patient and a good listener. And it's really cool to watch her grow. Probably the biggest area of growth I see is love and service. It's a culture of inclusion. It's a culture of giving. It's a culture of servant leadership. And it's an opportunity, even if you're a very young lady, a young, young lady like fourth or fifth grade or second grade, whatever it may be, to begin to learn that it's not all about you. We are a Christian camp, and that means that we hire staff that have made a very serious Christian commitment. It's a very quiet part of what we do. It's still very important to what we do. Because they've been through what we've been through, so they're there to give advice and maybe like spiritual guidance, but they're also there to have fun, let loose, and just like be enthusiastic with the rest of the campers in the cabin. These girls are as engaging and friendly outside of camp as they are when I see them at camp. One of the great things that we've been able to experience as a family throughout the year, we have all sorts of counselors and campers visiting us at our house, and it's really a very large extended family. So my hope for Kate and um, all of our campers as they develop, I really hope for them to be able to really grow um, and make new friends and learn more about the Lord and knowing that they can take what they learn here, how to live with other people, how to care for each other, how to have fun. And they hope that they can take that and take that into the world with them and take that to school with them and to college and 
My hope is also that they come back as counselors because they're awesome kids and they would just lead this camp as well as anyone could. I think it's really cool to see not only the like micro level of growth that happens within the span of two to four weeks, but also on the macro level, um, the growth that happens from coming back summer after summer. This is my sixth summer at camp. This is my eighth summer at camp. I started coming to Mary Mac the summer before my seventh grade year. I love camp because uh, I make so many new friendships, um, girls that I didn't know before. I believe that the main reason a girl comes to camp is to make friends. My camp friends are literally my best friends, pretty much. We are made to live life together. God has made us that way. It's in our DNA. That's what happens at camp. We live together as families. So girls that are very different from each other will come and be very, very close to each other here. These will be their lifelong friends. My oldest daughter, Olivia, came home last year. She had met a new friend. She wrote her friend all year long. They talked on the phone. I got in touch with her friend's mother before camp this year. We hooked up in Asheville before we came to Mary Mac and it's just been so neat to see these sweet little friendships grow. The friends that I've formed at camp are definitely my best friends. I keep in touch with them all year long. Now that I've graduated college and most of my campers have graduated college, some of them have become some of my closest friends now. I love camp because I've met some of my oldest friends from here and I just wanted that for my girls so much. I knew they would love being a part of this community from all over the United States and even the world. The new friends I made, Eliza and Emily. This is Emily. Oh my God. Kendall's mm. right there. Uh -huh. Hi! <laughs> These are friendships that I really believe that they're going to have for many, many years to come. I get to have this amazing community of friends that is unlike anything I've ever seen before. It's so awesome to come back year after year and knowing that they'll always be there. Camp is incredible because it connects you to girls who are older than you, who are younger than you, and who are completely different from you. It's a place where we don't have Facebook, we don't have cell phones, what we have is each other. It's just a little piece of heaven and there aren't many places like that anymore, um, especially for our children. Honestly, camp is like my favorite place in the world. Barry Becker is like a thousand watt light bulb. She just lights up the room when she walks in the door and I know that Mary Mack and these experiences have given her some of that inner confidence to be able to, to express that. Hi, we're Adam and Ann Boyd and we're the directors at Mary Mac and uh, camp is really our home and our campers are in many senses our family and we're excited to invite you to be a part of our family. So come join us this summer.